Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another live market analysis here at Market Minds Mastery. I hope you guys had a good weekend and we are ready to dive into the today's markets on the euro US dollar. First and foremost, the price decline and move downwards into that sense with a lower highs and lower lows. Currently, it sits at the previous support area and the price bounced to the upside uh, in the last four hour trading session. Therefore, uh, we can we might going to see the price um, coming into this uh, four hour fair value gap or this gap area at this point just sits under the bearish engulfing order block. If we go down, let's say to the 15 minute time frame, uh, if you want to pick up some trades from here, let's say for intraday, this is how it looks like. So maybe the price will reach us this area before it's going to continue to the upside. So let's keep an eye on that and see what's going to happen. Next one is the Australian dollar, US dollar. The price entered into, uh, actually that was from the previous week, so we don't need it now. So we do have this support here, guys, around 0 0.65, 0 0.04, so 0 0.65, give or take. And the price it tried during the first four hour trading session to fill up some of the gap left behind on uh, on Friday, last Friday, it got rejected. On the lower time frame, it looks like this a bearish engulfing on the hourly chart. Price already made a higher high here. Let's see what's going to happen if it's going to continue moving um, to the upside after a kind of bounce or if it's going to drop and break below the S1 support. If it breaks below the S1 support, then I would like to get involved. So for now, and especially uh, if you go on the weekly time frame, all the majors, they are weak against the US dollar. So the price, it might gonna continue falling. Yeah, temporary pullback, temporary pullbacks and fill up this Caps here uh, can help to sell in a more advantage price. Today, I would like to keep an eye on the New Zealand US dollar because if we see the weekly time frame, the price clear up the support areas, and there is about a hundred pips until the next support. On the daily chart, though, it create a well-defined lower high and lower low you guys see that and some kind of pullback or intraday pullback to go short will be preferred how it looks like on the four hour chart it's like this the price it might gonna enter into this area of resistance it's also a well-defined bearish order block drawing Fibonacci from the high there to the low there. There is 61.8% and 78.6% around this region. So let's keep an eye on that one, guys. USD Swissim price uh, moved to the upside. That's a four hour time frame. It created this swing uh, high and this higher high and higher low with the swings. And therefore we expect it continuation if the US dollar dominate this market. Pound yen, the price retraced back to fill up this unmitigated gap and it might gonna find the support to push to the upside but starting from the weekly time frame it's obvious that the price falls break the all-time high it created this week to the upside rejecting the 193.5 area therefore we might gonna see some kind of decline on the daily chart though it looks like a confirmed swing high and the price uh, is expected 
if it's going to find support to bounce to the upside now moving to the lower time frames like the four hour chart the room of opportunity is from this area here to this area up here that's how i see it and that's how i validate it before i enter into any trade us oil on the four hour chart there is a head and shoulder reversal pattern that we identified it during the analysis during the weekend's analysis there is suspected for a failure this one here because if the price closes above the neckline and moves higher than this r1 resistance that's the right shoulder then the pattern is fail okay we want to see the price to continue moving lower and if the price will uh, will drop then the target is going to be the 78 dollars that's the minimum that's the minimum target gold on the weekly time frame the price again rejected with this long week uh, rejecting the higher prices on the four hour chart it filled up all this unmitigated area here and let's see what's going to happen now if it's going to find some support there is resistance r1 there is support s1 here ideally for me i want to see the price to move and close away from this s1 support so i will be looking to uh, to short it guys any questions so far please let me know on the chat if you want to see analysis of any other currency pair s p 500 uh, price made higher high there is an unmitigated recent um, bullish engulfing order block here and maybe the price will drop decline actually to fill up some of these areas to the long side i will be looking to find some opportunities around the previous swing high because if this uptrend it's about to continue then this will be the area of the uh, of the focus dax found resistance at this all-time high couple of inside candles and let's see what's going to happen i'm not into intraday in dax currently because of this um, higher of, of, of these very unpredictable higher highs and higher lows we see on the DAX lately. NASDAQ, uh, if you are about to trade NASDAQ for the London session, is currently trading sideways here. So a break below here can lead the price to test this bullish engulfing order block, and a break above this high can lead the price to test here. So if you're going to trade intraday the, the, the Nasdaq, then definitely I believe you are looking for a breakout to the upside or to the downside before you start looking for your higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lows respectively. And USDJPY, price made equal top. Uh, there is this bearish engulfing order block here. We want to see the price to move away from this resistance and to create a new low. So there is still some room for the price on that one. Um, fairly bullish on the Euro New Zealand and on the Pound New Zealand guys because of the weakness of the Kiwi. So let's see how this is going to play out. And we will uh, finish this uh, live with the bitcoin us dollar uh, it's still trading within the boundaries of this high point here around 68 and this low around 60,800 61,000 so if the price clear and make a new high or a new low then we will definitely um, have more validated um, opinions here about whether it's going to break to the upside or to the downside okay but let's remember that last week the market entered this order block area and then it pushed to the upside it bounced off and moved to the upside uh, traders stop losses who might enter this trade long they 
have been somewhere around here. I don't see any questions so far, so I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. I wish to everyone to have an, um, a great day ahead, guys, and I will see you all again tomorrow with our daily analysis here at Martin Mites Mastery. Thank you, everyone, and please, if you find this content valuable, make sure you like and subscribe on the channel if you haven't done it so yet, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.